If you're looking for a great pair of speakers but don't want the hassle of setting up the receiver that traditionally goes along with them, stay tuned because in this video, we've got a solution that may be just what you're looking for. Hi, I'm Carl with Apt, and these are the Klipsch R51PM powered speakers, and we're gonna take a closer look to see what they're all about and check out how they sound. We'll start off on the outside, and these are gonna look pretty familiar if you're familiar with Klipsch. You've got a textured wood grain vinyl covered MDF cabinet to go along with magnetic cloth grills that can be easily removed depending on the look you're going for. Underneath the grill, the first thing you're gonna notice is the five and a quarter inch spun copper woofer. And right above that is a one inch aluminum tweeter within a Tractrix horn. And it's an LTS tweeter, which stands for linear travel suspension, but basically what they're designed to do is minimize distortion. Now, on the back is where you're gonna find all the connections, and you get several. There's a USB type B that you can use with a computer, as well as an optical input, and you do get both of those cords in the box, and a sub out for anyone looking to add more bass. Moving on, you've got a three and a half millimeter aux input and a phono input with a toggle switch in between, and that's gonna let you choose between either the built-in preamp or an external preamp when dealing with the phono input. Above these inputs, you've got a volume slash source select knob, and at the bottom, you'll see the terminals for the speaker wire connecting this, the right speaker, with the left speaker. The system also comes with a remote. You've got individual buttons for each input at the bottom, sub and volume controls with a mute button in the middle, and play, pause, and Bluetooth. How do they sound? Well, here's a sound test for you. So they do sound a little on the bright side and they are lacking in a little bit of bass, but that can kind of be fixed with adding a separate sub. And these can be used for more than just music. You can use that optical input to hook up to your TV and use these in place of a sound bar. You get great separation, which will create a wider, more accurate soundstage, and they have a classier look, I think, than most sound bars do. So do you prefer a system like this with the amplifier built in, or do you like to do the old fashioned way of hooking up to a separate receiver? Make sure to let us know in the comments. As always, we appreciate you checking out our video and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates whenever we upload new content.